So another thing about the Grasslands area, I mean, obviously the original game is much less detailed graphically due to technical restrictions of the time, right? But it does have like grassy landscapes, hills and beaches, like the Grasslands of Rebirth. Right, so they, they stayed true there. And story-wise in the original game, the party is told to get Chocobos from Choco Bill's ranch in order to kind of safely cross the marsh, right? And avoid Midgard Somar. But it's interesting though, because in seven, he's called Midgar Zolom or Zolom. Did you know that? Don't remember, but I'm I wouldn't doubt it. In Rebirth, it's Midgard Somar instead of Midgar Zolom, which is interesting. And I prefer the change because any Final Fantasy fans will probably recognize the name Midgard Somer much more as being this reoccurring serpent creature across the Final Fantasy series, right? So, Oh, even more than that, Norse mythology. Right. Where it comes from. Mythology, yeah. right? So in Final Fantasy VI, Ernest, your favorite, right? Midgard Somer is an esper or a summon, because mm -hmm. you get it in the Yeti's cave or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then in eleven. I didn't play 11, but I read this. Midgard Somer doesn't appear in the game, but it's the name of one of the servers. Mm -hmm. So it pays homage. That's true. And then in 14, Midgard Somer actually has a pretty large role as being this like first dragon on earth who fathered all the other dragons across the world. He's like mm -hmm. the first one who came here from like another planet or something. And you get him also as a mount. Everybody gets him as a mount. And you talk to his essence on like a number of occasions. So he's like a big part of 14. And then in 15, he's a level 54 hunt. And then I think he also appears in Final Fantasy Tactics and a few obscure Final Fantasies as well, but he's almost always some kind of serpent, some kind of dragon or reptile or whatever. So other than the slight name change from Seven Original to Rebirth, the other difference is that in the original game, you don't actually have to defeat him in order to cross the marsh. Although he will engage your party if you're not on a chocobo mm -hmm. going through that area. And he's really hard to defeat if you try to fight him. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I ever was able to kill him, at least not in the early levels of the game, right? And so I ended up encountering him and then having to flee from the battle. And then before you get to the Mithra Mines in Original 7, that's when you do discover Midgard Somer, or Midgar Zolom as they call him. You see his corpse stabbed through and wrapped around that stake. Mm -hmm. The same way you do in Rebirth after he dies, right? But... In this, you didn't contribute to like fighting him and putting him in that state. You just speculate when you see that if it was Sephiroth who did it. So slightly different, kind of interesting to compare to the original game. And then the whole like cloud seeing Sephiroth and then being pulled into the water by the serpent and then ultimately rescued by Sephiroth. I mean, none of that is in the original game. So those are interesting additions for Rebirth. And then as far as the fight goes with Midgard Somar, I did not do very well, I'll be honest with you. I didn't die, but I think one of my characters got knocked out and I had to revive them. But I didn't feel like I had rocked that battle at all. I felt like I was still getting used to the different options and the different controls, what the characters do, the different weapons, the spells, all of that kind of thing. The shortcut synergy abilities. I now understand more how those abilities kind of work and I'm a lot better at it, but I don't know how you did. I did not ace that battle well you got to remember i put it in story mode so oh that's right you're not even playing yeah. like so it was not oh. that hard for me it was actually pretty easy because it's auto fighting yeah there's a lot of auto fighting going on like i control cloud or i control uh -huh. barrett but like yeah that fight was super interesting one thing i'll call out is like if you have netflix there is a series on there called ragnarok okay and it's like a retelling of the Norse mythology, okay. right? But set in like a modern day context. I think it's in Norwegian and it's got English subtitles. And obviously Midgar Stormer plays a big part of that. But like, so if you haven't seen that thing on Netflix, it's pretty good. I'll have to check it out. Interesting. The one thing I will say that like annoyed me about that scenario, and I know it was part of the script or whatever, was like, I'm on these birds and it's because someone told me if you go on these chocobos, this thing won't bother you. Oh yeah, and then it did. And then we end up stepping on it <laughs> And, and what happens? The chocobos go running off and abandon this thing. And I was like, really? That was low as far as I was concerned. <laughs> that was a low move. They just ran. Like, they left us there to be lunch for this thing. I'm out. I'm not getting eaten by a giant snake. But, yeah, the cut scene, like you said, right, that kind of brought us to the end of the chapter yeah. was pretty awesome.
And then I love like Cloud's little snippet after that. Like, I knew he was powerful, but I knew he was strong. But still, like one swipe and that thing's stuck, like impaled on the spire. It's like, wow, it's slowly giving the player, like especially someone who's never played any of these before, hints as to like how powerful Sephiroth actually is. Really interesting to see what they're going to do with Sephiroth. I secretly want him to be a good guy. And I want this to be just like all a misunderstanding. <laughs> well, I mean, it sort of is. And he sort of is a good guy, but not really like. I know, it, but I don't know which way the writers are going to take this whole like remade version with him. You know, I have a feeling the reason they named it like remake and then went to rebirth is because they're going to change it. Yeah. Right. And they're going to give it more depth. And I think that the the entire team at Square Enix working on this knows how important seven is to like the yes. the player the whole base franchise frankly they're not going to screw it up well we'll see they're going to deliver it may not be what everybody wants but there will be a portion of the player base that will be like yes i've been waiting for this for 20 something years so we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see